Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've shot a video, so I figured we'd uh, hop in a crawl space and show you really bad termite infestation. So, there's two very important things that we need before we do that. First, and I would argue probably more important than the flashlight, is a stick. That's just to get uh, what I call a cotton candy, or aka spider webs and cobwebs. More important because if not, that is in your hair pretty much every time you crawl. You can use a screwdriver. I like to find just a scrap stick sitting near your crawl space. Pretty much guaranteed that people have left them around. And a good flashlight. So that's a must. So I have already scoped out this crawl space a few weeks ago. And I must say, bear with me, I'm going to try and get you some lighting. I must say, one of the worst my infestations I've seen in a long time. Okay, if you're a noob, aka rookie, aka greenhorn, you'd crawl this house and miss most of the termites. Because it has got rigid foam board insulation. Hopefully you can see this here. But, pretty common, people would take hollow block foundations and they would glue this insulation board right onto the hollow blocks. Now what that does is it creates a little warm spot between the hollow blocks and the insulation boards for the termites to hide out and you wouldn't even see them eating the bottom plates here, your sill plates. So I'm going to show you a spot here. But all you got to do and it may suck because people probably want that insulation on there, but it's got to come down because we got to treat the termites. Look at this. Right behind the insulation, we have got very good size termite tubes, tunnels, uh, mud tubes. Got several names. But for those of you who ask me, what's a termite look like? Or what does their evidence look like? They build these tubes or these tunnels. Kind of like we build houses and we uh, build the walls so we can keep our AC and heat in. They do the same thing with these tunnels. When they leave the soil, they lose their humidity. They build these tunnels so that they can keep it just right. Keep the, all that inside there. Now got you an active tunnel. Bear with me here. You can go. Just break it open. And here we go. Should be able to see those guys. Right there. Little bitty white guys just popping out. They're a little piss. They won't hurt you, just your house. A little piss that I broke open their tube. But if I were to leave them alone for, oh, depending on how mature this colony is, you leave them alone for a couple hours, they will repair all that gap right there. Now I'll show you an example of that. That we got tube running here, all the way in the back there, tube, tube, tube. They are running pretty much every few feet we've got tunnels. Now this is one I broke open on the initial inspection several weeks ago. Okay, now you can see the difference in the thickness of the tunnels here. That's because I broke these open about two weeks ago and they've already repaired that they really like this pathway so they have repaired it it's not as thick as the original you can kind of tell that but the skinny parts that they've repaired is actually about a normal size tunnel that you would see so this is a very mature colony that's nearby it's all all of these tunnels that we're seeing in this same area are all from the same colony underground.
Okay, we're gonna be treating with a colony elimination chemical today because they kind of operate just like the analogy of an iceberg. We are seeing the 10% or so that are eating above ground. They're eating on this house, unfortunately. Got them up here in the joists, floor joists, pretty much all over. Um, but most of this colony is actually below the soil. We have subterranean termites here, so fortunately they don't start on the roof. They start in the ground and work their way up. But in about 30 to 45 days, chemical will have completely taken effect and they will be kaput. So, moral of the story, get your house inspected once in a while. So this one obviously hasn't been or it would have been caught a long time ago. Alright, see you guys.